Once upon a time, there was a group of funny little creatures called humans, and they loved stories. They had begun telling stories on the walls of caves in the dark. The next thing they knew, they were writing their stories down so they could tell them over and over. Though lately, they've started telling stories on walls in the dark again. Even when they became older and smarter and figured out a whole lot more about the world around them, they still craved their stories. But why? What has made their stories so important? It all started one day, probably when the human race was still very young. Maybe one human, let's call him Larry, had gone to the river to get some water, and he fell in a hole. He was surprised because he had been going to the river for years, and before that day, there was no hole. As soon as he climbed out, he thought, I've got to tell my friends about this so they won't fall in the hole. I know, I'll put up a sign. Then he thought, but wait, we haven't invented writing yet. So he went back to his friends and told them a story, the first story of how he fell in the hole. And from that point on, nobody went near the hole. They understood they should stay away, even though they themselves had not fallen in the hole. To make a long story short, the humans continued telling stories. But soon their stories weren't just about holes by the river, they were about how other people lived. They were able to understand how other people felt and what other people knew. And that helped them get along better and survive. What's the moral of this story? Humans love stories because stories help them survive. Professor Roger Evans had been teaching rocket science for 20 years. The same theories, the same formulas, year after year. His classes had become pretty dull. I have to do something different, he thought. And so the next day, Rather than explaining his theories, he started telling stories about the courage of astronauts, the danger of blastoffs, and how the theories and formulas helped all that happen. And in the end, Professor Evans realized he had succeeded in getting his students interested again. He understood that stories are the most natural way for humans to learn anything because stories engage the emotions as well as the intellect, and humans remember things better when emotion is involved. Imagine you're a very young child. You've been watching the world, but it doesn't make sense. It's all a big mess of information with lots of strange shapes. But lately, people have been telling you stories. And after a time, you have started to make sense of the world. Things seem clearer. So later on, when you get older, you will still go back to stories when you want to make sense of the world. There are many other reasons we humans have been telling stories since the dawn of time. But really, the thing you have to know is, humans will always find new ways to tell stories and new stories to tell. Because telling stories is part of what makes us who we are.